What's up everybody, Kenex Dividend Investor here. A subscriber of mine named LVM1980 asked me on Instagram about free rewards and benefits that shareholders can get for owning stock. So if this sort of free content is something you appreciate at all, then please consider hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing if you haven't yet, and click that bell notification. Now to be fair, he actually asked me, I was curious if companies offer any special benefits to the large shareholders, what those benefits might include, and at what threshold an investor would need to reach i.e. how many shares or percentage of the company must they own in order to realize those benefits. Like Bill Gates' gold card for McDonald's. I'm curious what other examples are out there of shareholder perks. So instead of answering in one of my normal millionaire dividend investing questions and answers videos, I thought it'd be more valuable to broaden the question for all shareholders around the world. By the way, it turns out that the rare McDonald's cards for free food that he's talking about are handed out by store owners who want to reward someone, like a local community hero, or in Bill Gates' case, someone who had started a charity who has helped millions. Finally, since shareholder benefits can change over time, please research them on your own before assuming they're still valid. To kick this video off, I wanted to mention a free $30 cash you can get that M1 Brokerage is currently running, apparently for all of 2021. The way it works is you click on my M1 referral link in the description of this video, and then either open a brokerage account and fund it with $100, or open a retirement account and fund it with $500. Then you need to keep your money inside the new account for 30 days from the date of deposit to get the free $30. I love getting free stuff like that because $30 invested can easily turn into $300 down the road. And then that $300 can turn into $3,000 and then to $30,000, etc. So if you don't have an M1 account, maybe it's time for you to start up a new dividend or growth portfolio. And maybe someday they'll offer crypto too. Anyways, the first benefit is for Berkshire B shareholders and it's an 8% discount on Geico Auto Insurance. I actually hold Berkshire B as the bond position in my growth portfolio, though it's not really fair to call it a bond as it's actually outperformed the S&P 500 over the last 25 years. I read stories online that people said they didn't actually need to show a brokerage statement to the Geico rep, you just needed to tell them. Beyond that perk, there's a furniture store called the Nebraska Furniture Mart that can give big discounts to Berkshire shareholders. People have reported being able to get desks and mattresses and grandfather clocks and other stuff for over 50% off MSRP. They tend to only give you the discount for about a week when the annual shareholder meeting happens in Omaha in the April-May time frame. Okay, the next rewards are for your cruisers out there. My favorite vacations have always been cruises, and I can't wait for this pandemic to be more behind us so I can go on one with family and friends. So if you own 100 or more shares of RCL, aka Royal Caribbean Cruises, then you can get a $50 onboard credit if you're sailing for 5 nights or less, $100 if you're sailing for 6 to 13 nights, or a $250 credit if you're sailing for 14 or more nights. You just need to show the sales rep a copy of your brokerage statement. Carnival Cruise Lines has a similar perks program for its shareholders, as does Norwegian Cruise Lines. I've been going on cruises for decades and have been in pretty much on all the big cruise lines, and Royal Caribbean has been one of my favorites, for the money. Most recently I took a family vacation on the world's largest ship, aka Royal Caribbean Symphony of the Seas. They have so many fun things on board for all ages, including glow-in-the-dark laser tag for the kids, a large outdoor water slide complex, including surfing wave riders for anyone brave enough, a 40-foot climbing wall, and even an ice skating rink. They have a robotic bartender that automatically makes you mix drinks on demand, and they even have an elevator bar where you can ride up and down as you watch other people who are walking along a massive indoor central park place that's filled with over 20,000 tropical plants. Of course, they also have Broadway shows and arcades and dance clubs and a casino, but you get the point. Intercontinental Hotels Group, ticker IHG, which includes a bunch of different hotel brands such as Holiday Inn Express, Crown Plaza Hotels and Resorts, and Intercontinental Hotels and Resorts, amongst a bunch of others, offers discounted hotel stays which you can access through a special website of theirs. You need to hold your shares in certified form. I actually stayed at Le Grand Intercontinental Hotel in Paris once, and it was a beautiful 5-star hotel. Another discount perk comes from Ford, who says if you own at least 100 shares of F for the past 6 months or longer, then you can get special vehicle pricing known as the X plan. I used to drive a Ford Taurus as part of a work perk, and I really enjoyed it. And when I was a kid, my favorite Matchbox car was the Ford GT. What a beautiful car. I hope Ford manages to flourish again. Another well-known company that offers shareholder perks is IBM. They apparently have a shareholder store where they sell laptops and other stuff for up to 25% off. So for example, on Lenovo laptops. Now a couple companies that I'm long in that sell gift boxes filled with their own products to their shareholders are Kimberly Clark and 3M. A kind of unique perk that I've not seen others do is what Aflac offers. 
They want to encourage buy and hold shareholders, and they say that each share of the company's common stock is entitled to one vote until it has been held by the same owner for a continuous period of longer than 48 months prior to the record date of their shareholder meetings, at which time each share becomes entitled to 10 votes. So basically, if you hold your Aflac shares for four or more years, then they have 10 times as much voting power. Pretty cool. If you hold at least 500 shares in the Online Vacation Center company, which is a Florida-based internet travel company, then you can get up to 5% discount on booking. If you own 100 or more shares in America's first customer-owned crowdfunded company, Willamette Valley Vineyards, then you can get a bunch of perks, including 25% off wine purchases on and offline, invites to exclusive events, and VIP winery tours. Nice. Another company that offers shareholder perks is Crimson Wine Group, which offers shareholders a 20% discount on certain wines, along with two complimentary wine tasting at any of its tasting rooms. If skiing is your thing, then maybe you can consider investing in Mad River Glen Skiing Resort in Vermont. They aren't a public company, but you can get discounted ski tickets and services if you want to be part of that co-op. What about companies outside the USA? Well, for my British investing friends, they can invest in Bloomsbury Publishing, ticker BMY, on the London Stock Exchange, where they can get a 35% discount on book titles published by the firm, including the Harry Potter books. I'll tell you a funny story. When Harry Potter first came out, I was traveling around for work on planes. I was reading a hardback copy of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which is called Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone outside the US. This was right after the book came out, and I was embarrassed to be reading a kid's book while sitting in business class, so I removed the cover and tossed it in my laptop bag. I looked over in the aisle and saw that the other guy in business class was also reading the new Harry Potter book and had also removed the cover. We both laughed when we realized what we had both done. Anyways, you need to just own one or more shares of Bloomsbury Publishing, and then you can access a website which will give you a code and you can use that during checkout to get discounts on their site. If you own at least 500 shares of British luxury goods company Mulberry, you can get a discount card that entitles you for up to 20% off of about $7,000 worth of purchases a year in select stores. My wife would dig that one. Another shareholder's perk comes from holding Mitchell's & Butler, a British pub company, which can get you 20% off on 12 meals per year, including drinks. Another London business to be aware of is Marks & Spencer. They give some of their shareholders up to 10% discount for online merchandise purchases. For my friends in Spain that invested in oil company Repsol, well, they can get a shareholder card that gets discounts on hotels, meals, gasoline, and other perks. Nice. And another that my wife would love is for shareholders of LVMH, which is Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy. They have a shareholders club where you can get discounts on wines and alcohol, as well as access to a special part of their website. Shareholders also get VIP passes to the Louis Vuitton Foundation in Paris, as well as discounted subscriptions for their newspaper. To join the club, you can submit an application online. Another one for my French investor friends is if you hold enough of Hotel Group Accor shares, then you may be able to get a gold loyalty card, which entitles you to things like a 7% discount, behind the scene hotel tours, and various hotel upgrades. For my Scottish subscribers, to which I obviously have an affinity for, since my college mascot was the Scotty Dog and we're the Carnegie Mellon Tartans football team, well, for my Scottish friends who own stock in BrewDog, they can get a bunch of benefits including discounts at their bars, of which there are a slew of all around the world. Shareholders also get a free birthday beer and early access to new beer launches. But maybe the best perk is that shareholders gain access to BrewDog's Millionaire Competition, where you apparently get the chance to win 1 million pounds worth of shares in the business, which is worth about 1.4 million US dollars. Sign me up, baby. My Irish friends might enjoy investing in Irish Continental Group, a travel and leisure company that enables you to get discounts on passenger and ferry service, if you own at least 1,000 shares. My German investor friends might invest in shares of Carlson Residor Hotels, which operates almost 1,500 hotels around the world, and offers shareholder perks like access to the gold elite level of their loyalty program, allowing you to bypass the number of nights you normally need to stay in their hotels. It takes about 200 shares to qualify for that one. For my Swiss investor friends that invest in Swedish Airlines SAS Group and hold at least 400 shares, they can book airline tickets at special discounted fares on the company's website. The offers are restricted to flights within Europe and can't be changed or refunded, but the shareholders can travel with up to 8 family members or friends. Nice. Maybe the Swedish bikini team will reach out to me as a friend so we can all go skiing together in the Swiss Alps. Speaking of the Swiss Alps, certain shareholders of Swiss Chocolatier, and I'm going to butcher this name, Linden Sprungle, Get a blue briefcase sized box of its prized chocolates. If you're really bling, then you can buy a share with special voting rights, which cost around $100,000 a piece. 
And then my Japanese investing friends might invest in Anna Holdings, a Japanese airlines where if you own at least 100 shares, then you can get discount coupons on regular one-way flights within Japan. And the more shares you own, the more discount coupons you receive. Anyways, these perks and benefits can change, so always research them first, and of course, it usually doesn't make sense to buy a stock just for these benefits. If you enjoyed hearing about any of those rewards and perks for shareholders, then please consider hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing if you haven't yet, and click that bell notification. Finally, please join my free Dividend Discord chat server, which is one of the largest in terms of dividend investors in the world. The URL is in the description of this video and in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again real soon. I am not a financial advisor and these videos are for entertainment, inspiration, and educational purposes only. Investing of any kind involves risk. I am only sharing my opinion with no guarantee of gains or losses on investments.